Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got a full complete set of the brand new Disney Lego minifigures to open up for you today. So I've gathered around all the princesses from the other Lego Disney sets, the mini dolls, and they are going to meet their blocky cousins today. So let's start with the first one. The first one here has got a green fishy tail and a little purple shell bikini. I'm pretty sure you would know exactly who this is. Yes, it is Ariel from The Little Mermaid and she has got a pink gem of some type. And what else does she have? Oh, she's got a clamshell. And we could put the gem in this or we can sit it next to her. Excellent, let's bring the Ariel, the mini doll in to meet her minifigure friend. And well, they look enough that we know that they're related really. But you know what? I think I really like this new hair mold. So let's try it on the Ariel mini doll. That looks really good. It actually looks like her hair does in the movie. All that swooping back, the sweeping back. Uh, let's put the other one back on there. There we go. Hmm, I quite like that. What do you think, Flounder? Yeah. All right, now this, we'll put this gem inside the clam if I can open it. Holy moly, this is stuck tight. Let me get my orange opening thingy and we'll put it in here. And now it doesn't stand up properly and everyone's falling over. <laughs> All right, move over, girls. It's nice to meet Ariel and Ariel, but Ariel's nemesis here. She is here. I cannot remember her name. What is her name? Ursula, Ursula. And she has got all of her nasty black tentacles and her crazy f hair. You know she's a villain because of that hair. Check it out. And she has got a trident as well. And ah, yeah, well, we shouldn't put her too close to the, to the aerial twins here. So we'll move them over and we'll move the clamshell over and flounder over. And we'll see who else there is. So they're the two from the Little Mermaid story. I've brought Sleeping Beauty in here because her arch nemesis is here as well. It is Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty, the very evil fairy. And she's got an awesome cloak. Check that out. It's got purple on the inside and black on the outside. And it has got a standy uppy bit around the neck. Sure, that has a technical name, but it looks fantastic, like a ruff out the back. And it's got two colors and her fabulous horned headpiece. Now that is great. I can think of lots of uses for that. And she also gets her own scepter. There it is. Wow, she looks sufficiently evil and mean and cruel. And here comes Sleeping Beauty. She appears to have the fairy godmother's, <laughs> fairy godmother's wand here. But, um, you know, I want to play a bit of mix and match here because I think that horned headdress is fantastic. I don't think it really, sleep, uh, really suits Sleeping Beauty, but if we do a bit of fiddling around here and we pinch uh, Merida's body and because she's got a dark dress on, what do you think? I think her face still looks too sweet. But the rest looks pretty good. Ooh, we might be able to concoct our own villains out of the mini dolls with some of these extra pieces. It'd be fun to have an evil mini doll. Ooh. All right, we have put Maleficent back the way she should be, and now we'll put uh, poor old Aurora back the way she should be, and Merida. There, I think, have I got the right? I think I've got the wrong heads on. I can tell by their eye colors. There we go, heads are right, hair's right. Everybody's back the way they should be so we can build the next minifigure. So we have brought in Jasmine and her little kitty, a little kitty, because she gets a couple of extra characters from Aladdin. Here is Aladdin. Ta-da! Huh. There we go. Now you've got your street rat, Jasmine. And he might be a bit blocky, but I'm sure you can still find something to love. And he has got his magical teapot. <laughs> His genie lamp, it's not a teapot. But we also get, this is pretty awesome, I'm rubbing the lamp there because we have magicked up the genie. The genie is one of my favorite characters. And look, you can see his little belly button. And that's a great face. And there is his headpiece with his pointy ears. And he's great, he, he actually has a little tuft at the top. I love everything about the genie. And he gets his own genie lamp. So, snap, we got a couple of genie lamps here. No, this one's got the genie in it. No, we might have two genies in there. You never know. And Raja was sniffing all the lamps. Don't rub any of them. We don't want any extra genies. Excellent. So, we've got some added characters for the Aladdin story. Now, who is this? Got some feet and a skirt with an apron. I think I know who this is. 
and a blue and white with a great face. Look at that. And another great hair piece. This is Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And she's got her Alice bow in. And she's got a bottle that says, drink me. So we will try to put this on her hand. I'm absolutely rubbish at getting things onto the hands of these Lego minifigures. I don't know why, it should not be this hard. It's something to do with me. I'm really terrible at it. There we go, done it. Hooray! And for the other hand, she gets the little cookie that she can eat. Don't know, I can't put, oh yes, I got that on, but the bottle fell off. So we might just put the bottle in her hand. The cookie that she can eat to make her smaller, bigger, which does which? I can't remember, one makes her small, one makes her big, and she needs to coordinate that so that she can get through the little teeny tiny door. But that's fabulous. We might play around with this hair here. I really like Alice's new hair mold. I think these are going to go awesomely on some of my mini dolls here. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun. That looks great. Though they are really heavy. They're very heavy hair molds, the Ariel one and the Alice in Wonderland one. All right, Alice gets a companion from this set. This very cute. Got a tail, put it on the wrong way around. Upside down, there we are. Tails pointing up. Pink stripes, have you guessed who it is? Yes, it is the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> the Cheshire Cat didn't just appear by the grin this time. He appeared legs up. So let's put, let's put the cat and Alice over because we've got our next character. This is, I think you know this one too. It's Peter Pan. Look at his wild orange eyebrows and his hair and his head. I'm trying to put it on the wrong way around. That's cute. It's got a little tuft of hair on the front. He's got a feather. And he gets a couple of fighting knives here. And we put one in each hand. There we are. One knife for Peter Pan. Two fighting knives. Because he is not alone. His arch enemy. Woo, there's a cutlass coming in. His arch enemy, Captain Hook, also comes in this series. So we better build him up because we wouldn't want Peter Pan to become too complacent. <laughs> All right, so uh, Captain Hook with his evil looking eyebrows and his fabulous mustache. And this is great, isn't it? Look at his head and his hair piece with his hair and his enormous hat with the big white feathery plume. We'll put the cutlass in his hand. There, fantastic. No, 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 no fighting. Go to the opposite sides of the screen, thank you. And Alice has just moved over. <laughs> but the cat's staring at Captain Hook. A cat can stare at anyone, even a queen. Okay, who's next? Hmm, blue, little furry chest. Oh, look at that, it is Stitch. Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorite movies of all time. And oh, 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 no, 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 Stitch. Leave them all alone. Oh, Stitch. Arr, yeah, all right, no. Goodness gracious, we need to tidy all of this up. And Stitch is gonna be put over here next to Captain Hook, where hopefully he has promised he will behave himself so we can build the next mini character. Okay, uh, hmm, green hands. Ah, look, it's the alien. It's a three-eyed alien from Toy Story. Boop, boop, boop. And he's looking around for a little friend. Any friends? Raja? Raja's not gonna be his friend? That's not very friendly. So we'll fly a friend in for you. It's Buzz Lightyear. There we go, and he's got some very cool pieces. And he looks just the way he should. Now, how does this go on? Let me see, it's a little head shield bubble thing. There we go, that's perfect. And he also needs zoom, yes, he needs some wings. There's one for one side, and one for the other side. Buzz Lightyear, woo, there we go. So there we go, little alien. Can you land, do you think? There we are. Now, stand over here, and now you can, little alien, you can have a friend. See, see, look, Buzz is here to keep you company. That's excellent. <laughs> All right, who's next? Hmm, underpants on the outside. I think I've got a very good idea here. It is an incredible, it is Mr. Incredible with his receding hairline and a slightly frowny face. And he's got a magazine that says, doing our part, it's the supers. Must have been back when they were famous. Oh, and he's just got knocked over by somebody who also has his underpants on the outside and a gigantic S. Yes, you have guessed it. It is Syndrome. And he has a cape, which as we all know is incredibly unfortunate because it causes you to get sucked into all sorts of bad situations. But his hair is quite frankly awesome. Check that out. Love that hair piece. 
<laughs> and Syndrome is Cal holding the instructions for his Omnidroid, which would have come in great deal of handy when everyone was trying to figure out how to destroy it. All they needed to do was get hold of- no, 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 behave! <laughs> oh dear, yep, separate sides of the screen too. Syndrome can go over here with Captain Hook. Good, now, we have a little white tufty tail and a lilac shirt and it's Daisy Duck. Look at you Daisy. She's got a very cute bow for- ah! Very hard to put on bow with one hand. Let's try again. You knocked Buzz Lightyear over. We might need to pick him up. There we are. And Daisy Duck is not alone in this set. She gets her partner in crime here. Partner in life. Donald Duck with his bow tie. There we go. Daisy and Donald. Now, there's your little hat, Donald. Um, not certain which way it should go, is that right? Or that way, or that way. Oh, there we go, they're so thrilled to see each other. They've been stuck in separate bags for so long. There we are. So Daisy and Donald can stand over here, just shovel syndrome over a bit. There we go. Now, who is next? Aha, the pièce de résistance, there's two of them. Who is this fellow? Why, it's Mickey Mouse. I don't think there'd be anyone in the world that didn't know that. And Mickey also has got somebody very special to him in a pink polka dot skirt. And you know who this is. It's Minnie Mouse. <laughs> Nose kisses. And she gets a little bow too. Where is it? She gets her spotty bow. There. Mickey and Minnie together again. Oh, they are so very, very sweet. We'll just move them over here. That is the whole set of this series of Lego Disney minifigures. Now, I did hear a rumor that there might be another series of Lego Disney minifigures that will be released in the future. Have you heard that rumor too? If there were to be another set made, who do you think absolutely has to be included? Who is your favorite character that you would love to see made as a Lego Disney minifigure? Write down in the comments for me. I would love to hear from you and see what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Please click subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Check out some of our other videos and I'm going to see you again for another one really, really soon.